Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lennon back with another CSR2 video. So there's been a few brand new cars just added to the game. So we're going to check out those cars, their dino times, and get a good idea of how fast these cars are going to be. And if you like this content, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. So the first new car we're going to look at is the Ferrari F50 GT. This is a really cool looking car. Let's see if we can open it up and take a good look inside. All right, so the inside doesn't look that awesome. It looks a little boring in my opinion, but the outside of this car is amazing. The back doesn't open, the front doesn't open, but it looks like it's snowing inside of this car. I don't know if you guys see that, but uh, I think that was snow inside of the car. That was weird, really weird. So this car has a 7.190 on the dyno, so it's gonna be a pretty decently fast car. These cars could run faster than this once somebody figures out the fastest time and the best way to shift it and tune it and all that good stuff. The 0 to 60 time is 0 0.6, 0 to 100 is like 1.1, and it looks like it's going to do 430 some miles per hour. So that's a pretty good car. The stats are really good. I don't know if it's going to have a live racing setup. It is a purple star only car, meaning it's going to be a prize of some sort. So you will need to buy this car with real money or win it from some sort of event. There it is, F50 GT. Next, we're going to check out the Delta HF Integral Evo 2. This video is made possible by YouTuber Nitro for CSR. There's a link to his channel in the video's description. Make sure you check him out on YouTube, but let's get back to the video. This is a really neat looking little car. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a good look inside. I don't know why, but I love these old school boxy cars. There's just something about them that I really like. This one does seem to have four doors. You can open all four and it's a cool little car inside, right? Let's go and open the hood. What do we got in there? What do we got in there? All right. Neat little car. I like it. Let's go check out the times and see what this thing might run. Hopefully the looks are as good as the dino time. All right, so that's going to be about a 7.9 car, 7.8, 7.9, unless it beats the dyno time. Now, it is a tier 5 car. It's got purple stars, so it's going to be either a 90s rewind or a flash event or something like that. So you're going to have to win it or buy it with real money, more than likely. It says it does 0 to 60 and 0 to 9, 0 to 101.5. It is going to do 310 miles per hour, and, you know, it's not super great on the stats it does have good speed it does have good acceleration but the time it crosses the finish line is a little bit slow if you like amazing items check out the affiliate shopping links in the video's description or the pinned comment or any items tagged to this video purchasing any of those items will help support this channel but let's get back to the video now these cars may or may not have a really good, you know, low performance point high Evo setup, but then again, maybe they do. We don't know yet. We'll find out. We know this one has a pretty decent one, the Aventador LP 784 Ultima. So this is the new Elite Tuners car. I already did make a video on this, how to drive this car, and it's actually pretty decent. It's probably not the absolute best Elite Tuners car out there, but it's a really good car overall. This one has a 7.0 on the dyno. Most of the time, you're going to be running in the 7.9s, maybe into the 7.8s, but it's got really good acceleration. It's got 419 miles per hour on the top speed. So yeah, this is just an overall really nice car. But if you want to see this car in action, see more about this one, I do have a video for it already. I think I put that out yesterday. So you can always go to my YouTube channel and check that out or just search Danny Lightning plus the name of the car and it should pop right up. So yeah, pretty cool car overall. Like the way it looks, like the way it drives. And it's nice. It's a very, very nice car. So let's go check out the next one. All right, so next we have the Type 62-2 Gosh Edition. Now, normally when they have one of these Gosh Edition cars, you do pay real money to get it and they donate a bunch of that money to the to the charity for a hospital that helps kids so this is probably going to be another one of those charity event cars which is pretty cool and this thing is pretty interesting i've never i've never seen this car before in my life i promise officer i've never seen this car before <laughs> but yeah let's open it up and take a look inside um Nothing opens on the back, I see, so we're kind of stuck there. Just the doors open, but 
cool looking car. I mean, it kind of reminds me, you know, it kind of reminds me of something you see running down the Salt Lakes going crazy fast, but let's check out the times it might run. All right, this car has a 7.2 on the dyno, 0 to 60 and 0 to 7, 0 to 100 and 1.070, so pretty good deal. 367 on the top speed. These stats are looking pretty nice. Remember, any of these cars may run faster or slower or the exact same time as what you're seeing here, but yeah, not bad stats. Let's go check out the next car. Now, this is a really interesting color, but we have the brand new Chevy Lapel Motorsports Corvette Stingray, and this is a really neat looking car. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, look at that. That is, uh, that is interesting. So, yeah, so far I like it. Let's see if we can put the top up or down. No top up or down. Nope, nope. I don't think it actually has a convertible top. It probably just has a hard top, but this is a really weird color. I kind of like it. It almost looks like a car that if you turn the lights off, it should glow in the dark. <laughs> it's glow in the dark color. That's what I'm going to call it. But yeah, this is a really freaking cool looking car, guys. I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm wondering what's going on with the exhaust pipes here because it does look like there's some sort of exhaust on the back. And it looks like there's also pipes that in here unless that's like the air intake. That could be an intake and that could be an exhaust or those might even be fake exhaust pipes. I don't know. Let's see where the nitrous comes out of this car. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous. And I, I don't, okay, it, I don't know. <laughs> it was coming out of the back somewhere. I couldn't tell if it was on the back back or the top back, but that car just ran really fast and I didn't even try. There it did a 7.7. All right, that wasn't that fast felt faster than it was i probably didn't drive it or shift it good but let's check out the uh let's check out the times on this car all right so this car has a 7.150 on the dyno time 0 to 60 and 0 0.684 0 to 101.222 with the top speed of 393 so decent times decent top speed decent acceleration looks like it's going to be a pretty cool and somewhat fast car could run faster could run slower we don't know yet, but hey, there it is, and it's very unique looking. Now, if you notice, every single one of these cars has been Purple Star only, so none of these are cars are going to be milestone prize cars or prestige cup cars. These are simply going to be cars that you buy or win. All right, so we got one more car left over here. It's the Ferrari 512TR, the Magnum PI car. This is a really, really, really cool car. Check this thing out. That thing is cool. I would drive that. I would definitely drive that. You know, I like the older Ferraris better than I like the new Ferraris. All right, so the headlights pop up. The uh, the hood opens. Again, somebody came into my garage and stole my engines. I don't know why people keep doing this, you know. Oh, they took it out of the front. They're playing a trick on me. They put it in the back. Come on, guys. Stop messing with my cars, please. Jeez. And that's what it looks like inside. This is a really cool car. You know, look at that huge engine compartment back there. I mean, a lot of these cars, you open the back, the engine's buried in there. You could actually work on this one yourself if you needed to. Most of them, you'd probably have to take it to a shop because you can't get to anything. But hey, let's go check out the dyno time and all that good stuff. So this one does have a dyno time of a 7.7, .7, and that's a little bit on the slower side. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a super fast car. Now, the acceleration looks pretty good, 0 to 60 and 0 0.8, 0 to 100 and around 1.4, with a 348 mile per, mile per hour top speed. So, you know, at least that stuff looks good. The acceleration is good, top speed's good. A little bit on the slow side, but it would be a really cool car to have just because it's a cool car. But of course, this one is going to come from the 90s Rewind events. I know that one for sure. Most of these are. But uh, yeah, so those are all the brand new cars and how fast they're going to run. And there is an event up on the map right now using this car. So it's going to have like five or six different lock-ins. This one's going to be hard to win. It's like an eighth anniversary event because this game's actually been around now for a total of eight years, which is a really long time. But there's currently a little event on the map right now. So let's go check that out and uh, see what we have to do to get that lapel motorsports thing and we'll, we'll make a full little my thoughts and deal on this little thing but right now there's the eight year event 
it's going to require you to have five different locking cars in order to win this with a total of how many races we got. We got about 60 races on this one. And yeah, 60 races, six locking cars. So that's about 10 races per car until you get the ladder races. And that makes it like 397 races instead of 10 each. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you're going to win that. I will do a little overview of my thoughts on this in the next couple of days. There's going to be a flash event coming up for the McMurdy Sperling Goodwood edition. So that's going to give you a chance to get that awesome car again. That car is pretty cool. It's got a great low performance point high Evo tune. I really like the car for live racing on low upgrades. But honestly, there's just too many events going on at the moment. We got the tuners pit. We got the eighth anniversary thing coming up. We got the Ferrari event up here. We got the flash event. There's, there's a lot of stuff. We got the Trinity Cup. I mean, there's just so many things going on right now it's crazy we're going to be having more 90s rewind events coming up pretty soon there's just a lot of stuff on the map right now that's that's a lot of stuff to do right that is a whole lot of stuff to do it's a crazy amount it's probably like frustrating some people or overwhelming some people but just do the stuff that you can so bottom line is do what you can do skip what you can't do and just be happy with that you know do the best you can with what you got and you will be all good but yeah i think that's gonna wrap up the video thank you guys so much for watching again huge shout out to nitro huge shout out to my channel members thank you guys so much for the extra support if you want to become one hit the little join button right right below the video if you drop down my video's description you'll see my discord server my other youtube channels affiliate links ways to help support the channel game news and everything else you'll see some of that stuff in the pinned comment as well Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you a lot. Hope you guys have a great day and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.